Yo guys, how's it going today? Burt Crown coming at you with a YouTube video and today we're going to be talking about manual deeks on total control. How can you use them in different ways to score goals, the ways to do them in general to try to be as successful as you can with them, and just manual deeks in general, the one button deeks on total control. I had some people in stream asking me how I was doing the Breakaway Michigan. Um, if you haven't seen that, I got some YouTube shorts on that. Check those out. They're they're silly. Um, they're overpowered, definitely. And if you run into the goalie doing it, it still counts as a goal. So that's, uh, that's a little crazy. But uh, if you're wondering about those, I got some YouTube shorts on those, on the Breakaway Michigan goal. It's broken. But uh, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the ways to do the one button deeks to help you use them properly and get the best out of them that you can get out of them. So let's get into it. If you do enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to put in the comment section down below if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them as fast as possible. But let's get into it, guys, and have some fun with one button deeks. So I'm going to show you guys here the forehand Michigan. What we're going to do is we're going to come in, hold the Y, flip it up over the goalie in the top of the net. It's, it's really silly how easy it is and how it goes in like that. Just up over the goalie in the net. That's two times. It, it is what it is, guys. It's just a little silly. Now, when you're talking about behind the net, the backhand Michigan, your backhand's going to be facing the goalie right past the trap against the boards. You're just going to easily curl it up and in and what you're doing there is you're getting close to the boards the backhand's facing the goalie and right after the trap line you're going to hold the triangle button and get the michigan up and over seems pretty simple straightforward it's all about timing once you get the timing down you're good now the forehand michigan as we're coming through here it's a little more tricky because of the way the player hooks you got to like hook it up and around and you see how he does that tight hook animation that's what you uh, you need to figure out, and that's what you need to get through. Like, he, he hooks hard. So, like, when you get through it, you're going to see him hook and just miss the net there. So that's unfortunate. Let's try one more time here. And you're just going to see him hook it. In the Oh, my goodness. Matthews can't hit the forehand Michi or the lacrosse. And, oh, I hit the goalie in the chest. The forehand's the hard one to do. That's the one I don't typically do. The backhand's easier to perform in-game. I hit the side of the net. You got to give yourself space to do that whole hook animation is what that is. So you see him hooking and he's hooking that right into the goalie. So you got to like it. The, the forehand one I do not like doing. It just it doesn't seem right the way it has to hook so hard. It's hard to do. Some people are good at it. I'm not one of them. And uh, yeah, but you'll see that hook animation that uh, I'll try one more time here. When you come around, he really just throws like a full 180. And that's what you got to account for the full 180. And uh, yeah, so that's that. That's the forehand, the backhand, and the breakaway Michigan. I really love the breakaway Michigan. It's OP. Okay, so now that we've covered the Michigan, which is just triangle on Xbox or Y on PlayStation, we're going to talk about the toe drag, which is a very simple square on PlayStation or X on Xbox. And when you're coming in, you're going to toe drag it towards yourself and then shoot it. So you got to line yourself up accordingly. So I like to bring myself in on a bit of an angle and then I'll toe drag and try to get a nice shot off like that. Unfortunately, I didn't bait the goalie to the left enough, so he made the save. So if you're looking at how to do that, you can bait the goalie to the left and then toe drag it and hopefully get the goal that way. I use this a lot on breakaways, and it usually is effective, but lately I've been doing the Michigan, and that's just a horrible, horrible attempt. And I've been um, using the Michigan a lot because it's just so much easier when you get it down pat. So like that's why I've been doing that one. But like this one is effective. There's a big goal there. So it is effective. You just got to get the timing down right. And it's not always 100%. Okay. And then X on PlayStation or A on Xbox is your one hand tuck. Now, how this one's going to work is when you're coming in, it goes against the momentum of your player. And I'm going to show you a couple different examples, forehand and backhand. They may not go in. They may be saved. But it goes against the momentum of your player. So if I'm coming in this way and I'm cutting across, it's going to stay on the right, as you see there, right? So now I'm going to come across the left. And you're going to see when I cut across to the right, the puck's going to stay on the left, just like that. That is how you are going to use the one-hand tuck. And you can use it in tight situations like that where you're cutting across and you just want to get it around the goalie if you're in traffic. So say you're, you're at the hash marks here. We know this play where you'll cut straight out and you'll rip it far side over here where the, the target is. You'll rip it right around there and you'll get that far side goal. 
But let's say you're playing an opponent that's shutting you down and doesn't let you cut out. Maybe instead of trying to cut out, you do one of these. That hit the post, so that almost worked. But that's how you could use the one-hand tuck to your advantage. Instead of cutting out what your opponent knows you're doing, you just simply try a one-hand tuck. It's a little different, and it throws your opponent off. And maybe coming down the boards, it, it, it could be used many different ways. But that it's, it's something fun to try, something fun to different to, to work on. And you got to remember, guys, it is March. We, we want to try just having fun with this game. And stuff like that is always fun. Now, if you come straight on, you want to pull away from where the puck is going. Just like that. And that almost goes in. But the goalie is all over it. All over it. Some of the goalie animations are crazy. But, you know, we have some fun with it, right? We have some fun with it. This one is a hard one to do. I haven't been able to get after the goal a lot on this one. I get it the odd time. Just like, oh my god, I thought that one in. I thought that one in. I get it the odd time where in a game, you'll see me cut out from the boards like I was showing you originally. And it gets in the net and it's a good goal. But like, yeah, you just, if you come into practice mode and you just mess around with it, you can try to get it into a good, uh, into a good rhythm where you can get it, right? So you come in, cut away from your target, and that went through the legs. That would have been nice. All right, now to round out the deke, you have circle on PlayStation or B on Xbox, which is through the legs. Just simply press it through the leg shot. I just wanted to do that to give you an idea. Now the through the legs also comes with a pass, where if you hit the pass button, you can pass it. You'll see the line pop up when you're holding it. There's your pass target. Or if you sauce it, you get a little sauce pass through the legs. So you don't need to just use the one button deke through the legs as a goal. You can use it as a pass to your D-man. You can use it as a pass to get around somebody. Like if you're coming here, you got somebody in your way, you pass it around through the legs. So that's one way of utilizing that where you just hold circle or B on Xbox and then your R1 or your right trigger on Xbox and that's how you send a pass. Or for sauces, sorry, sauces are R1 on PlayStation and regular passes are R2 and then on Xbox it's right bumper for the sauce and right trigger for the pass and then we just send that right to the goalie <laughs> but yeah so let's start using the shot that's how you do the pass let's do the shot so when you're coming in the pat the shot's going to go away from you so you're going to have to kind of time it and remember it's how you aim the left stick so if I come in and I aim the left stick on the left side, it's going to stay on the left side. And I know I said left side there, but that was actually the right side. So you see me aim to the left here, and I go far side. Hit, miss the net. I thought I hit the post, but I missed the net. And then we're going to corral the puck up. And now this time I aim my right, and this time I aim my left stick to the right side, and it just pops up and over. So that's just different ways you aim the puck. You use the left stick, and you just have fun and, and hope for the best. But, uh, so there's some goals, guys. The, there's some that I'm still working on, but they're just fun. You know, you come in, you do a little 360, and then you throw it through the legs, try to get a goal that way. You can mess around with things. Like, people take it too seriously sometimes. You can, you know, a little flip up in the net, <laughs> curl the way. But it's just stuff like that, you know? Have fun with it. You know, you kick the puck back to yourself. You chase it down. You do a little spin. You go through the legs and you try to get a goal. You just have fun, guys. This game's about fun. We don't always have to take it so seriously. And these one-button dekes are a great way of doing that because you can come in sideways on the Mishy and just try to flip it up over the goalie. Unfortunately, Matthews didn't pick it up there, but it's all about angling when you try to do some of this stuff. It's all about angling. So if you want to get this Michigan over the player on the breakaway, you got to angle the puck right to get it up and over him. And that is, oh, that's such a silly goal. I love doing that goal. But I'm trying to figure out how to do it on a sideways angle, something like that. Because I keep missing the net and I just got to get the path down right. The path, the angle, it's there. I just got to work on it, something like that. But somehow it curled away from me and uh, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. But, you know, it's a little harder. Straight on is easy. Because straight on, you know, you just come and straight at the net and the puck is going to go where it's going to go. But unfortunately, I hit the goalie in the helmet there. <laughs> now, before I go, people were asking about back skating. When you're coming in behind the net, you'll see somebody suddenly stop and skate backwards. And they'll whip themselves around for a short side goal. Very effective. But that is L2 on PlayStation or left trigger on Xbox. And when you come in, you just hold it. And then you just skate backwards. And then you just try to pick corners. 
So if you see somebody coming around and they whip and they try to pick that short side corner, you start covering that. Or if, if you're doing it to them, they start covering it. One way you can do it to throw them off is when you're coming in, you hold L2, you cut back, and you try to pick that corner right up top, just like that. Or another way to use back skating the L2 is when you're coming down, instead of pushing to the outside where they normally would push you, I'll show you that here again, where they normally would push you, you're coming down the boards, you got somebody on your inside. Say they're right at the top of the circle. Well, that's when you just cut around them and they're, they're left right here, pushing you to the boards. And when you L2, you cut around them, still on your same side, and then you just fire it across the goalie and get a good goal that way. So there is different ways of doing it, guys. You don't always have to do the same thing that we always do and see where you come in, oh, I'm gonna curl, I'm gonna find my slot right there, and I'm gonna shoot and score. Right, we see that so many times where you'll come across, you'll circle, everyone forces everything to the outside and they try to get that goal. And you'll see it even where you do it over and over and over again, where they'll just keep ripping it and ripping it and ripping it until it goes in and it's frustrating. Something simple as just adding something like this, where you cut in and you stop, you know, have a little fun. Like you don't always have to get this, the goals the same way, right? Oh, up and over the net. See, just a little fun. Come in here, mess around with things, and have a hoot. But those are how you do most of the uh, one button, deeks, back skating, everything you need to know. So I really do hope that helps you guys. Get some passes going, get all that going, get some fun, have a good time. Utilize the one button deeks, get comfortable with it in practice mode, and then start incorporating it maybe in moments or rush, and then really add it into your squad battles then take it into rivals or champs. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps. I hope you do enjoy it. And I hope it elevates your game to the next level. Until next time, guys. Ciao, ciao.